Okay, um, my name is Amir Kassam. Um, I uh, am based at uh, Reading University in the UK, uh, and I also work for the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. Uh, I'm here uh, as a lecturer in, in a course on conservation agriculture, uh, where the participants are, are uh, professionals from various institutions who are responsible uh, for different aspects of, of promoting good agriculture. Uh, what has happened over the last uh, two to three decades is that we have realized that our conventional tillage-based agricultural systems uh, are now no longer fit for purpose for the future. They have become environmentally uh, unsuitable, but they are now also economically unsuitable. And what this course is all about is to try and uh, uh, train uh, managers, researchers, development experts in, in, the, in this opportunity to promote conservation agriculture. Globally, already 11% of our uh, farming area, especially annual crop area, uh, is, has been transformed into this conservation agriculture, which uh, is a no-till system. It is a system which aims at minimum disturbance of the environment, the soil environment, and also tries to minimize the chemical disturbance of the cropping system and promotes uh, not just monocultures, but uh, diversified uh, cropping and farming systems. In this way, this new conservation agriculture has the maximum productivity, has the maximum resilience, and offers maximum uh, efficiency. But the biggest thing is that it, is, it stops degradation and especially uh, erosion of, of soil, which is occurring on a grand scale uh, throughout the world. Um, most, uh, all continents now have adopted conservation agriculture and it is moving forward uh, in various, uh, at various rates. Uh, Mediterranean region, which um, uh, is, as we all know, is, is, um, is dry area. Um, there are problems of, of uh, water scarcity. Uh, there are problems of high erosion. Uh, this um, um, offers an opportunity to, uh, to uh, introduce conservation agriculture because with conservation agriculture, water efficiency, use efficiency is higher and water productivity is, is much, much higher. But also, we have to put a break on the degradation which is, which is occurring at a fairly high level in the Middle East. And that is only possible, only possible with conservation agriculture. It cannot be done with con conventional uh, tillage agriculture, which actually is the problem and not the solution. Uh, we, of course, uh, it's easy to say that we need to promote conservation agriculture, but in terms of action, then we have to uh, be concerned about how actually do you uh, uh, operationalize uh, such, a, such an objective. All stakeholders at the moment uh, are aligned to, to promoting the conventional agriculture. So there has to be, uh, uh, over time, uh, a realignment of all our institutions to help farmers to convert their farming practices into conservation agriculture. If we uh, do a successful job, then I think that we can take a 25-year horizon and aim at at least 50% of the farmers could convert into, into uh, in, uh, to conservation agriculture, which then makes conservation agriculture adoption a farmer-led process so that other farmers can then join in. But there has to be a lot of support uh, necessary, uh, especially because this is a new, new uh, uh, process, new practice, uh, a set of practice. Therefore, fair amount of training support needs to be uh, um, ensured, and fair amount of knowledge, new knowledge uh, support ha has to be organized. There are opportunities for the government to uh, provide uh, support in terms of extension, but also in terms of financial incentives as well, because uh, the transformation 
um, offers opportunity to, to buy new equipment, uh, organize farmers in a different way, and also, in, and also uh, offer uh, 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 the, this, this whole business of control of degradation, which at the moment is polluting our air system, it is polluting our water system, and on top of that, it is actually leading to desertification and total abandonment of farmland. All that uh, can be uh, stopped over time. And if governments uh, are, are interested in this, and I think they should become interested, then they will have to uh, provide political support as well as policy support to institutions who can then implement uh, CA uh, promotional uh, policies. Already in the Mediterranean region, uh, we have several countries who have a respectable record of good research on CA. For example, Lebanon, Morocco, uh, and, and uh, Turkey. Uh, they, Turkey and, and Morocco uh, have done 20, year, 20 years of good research uh, on, on, and of course, Syria. Aksad, Aksad is a, is a, is a multi-country uh, research organization, and they have done uh, a lot of work on CA, which has shown without any doubt the applicability uh, uh, of CA to Mediterranean uh, region in terms of uh, uh, farmer practice. And we already have, the good news is that we already have adoption taking place. We have adoption in Morocco, in Algeria, in Tunisia, uh, in Lebanon, Turkey, Turkey already has got around 100,000 hectares of CA, but in the neighboring countries uh, such as Spain, Italy, and Portugal, we have uh, large areas like Spain, for example, um, uh, around uh, 750,000 hectares of annual cropping systems have been converted to uh, uh, conservation agriculture, and orchard systems, more than a million hectares of orchard systems in Spain have been converted. That is about 30% of the total olive groves in, in Spain have been converted to conservation agriculture. Similar achievements have been made in Italy and, and also uh, Portugal. And, um, and so there is, um, there, is not a, no, there is no shortage of proof of concept. We already have proof of application and also knowledge is building up on how to manage the transformation process. And just beyond the, 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 the Mediterranean basin, if we go into uh, other continental Mediterranean environments, such as Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, they have already large areas transformed uh, into conservation agriculture. Kazakhstan has uh, been blessed uh, in, 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 in terms of policy support. The government in Kazakhstan provides uh, uh, development support to farmers if they switch over to no-till conservation uh, agriculture. And already, already over two million hectares have been transformed into conservation agriculture in Kazakhstan. So there is a great, uh, there is enough experience uh, in the region uh, uh, to, to show that this is possible, and, and as I said, it is now desperately necessary to stop degradation and secure the future uh, of farming, uh, food security, better water system, uh, reducing the pollution, and, and also make farming affordable and exciting for the new and future generation of youngsters.